Good morning, YouTube. Welcome in. Take another beautiful build for you today. We're building the 1400K and we're putting it in the NZXT H6 RGB Flow or H6 Flow RGB. Anyways, it's an H6 build. That's right. One of the best cases on the market right now in terms of design, aesthetic, airflow. It really meets a lot of those little criteria that people are looking for in a brand new case. It's been on the market now for about two, almost two months here. And we're putting it all on the beautiful Z790 Tomahawk, the 1400K that we talked about. We have 6800 megahertz of DDR5 going in there and the team T-Force Delta RGB. And then on top of that, we got a two terabyte Kingston KC3000 drive going in there, which is a beautiful drive. RTX 48 is going there as well. And we got a 1000 uh, uh, watt ATX, ATX 3.0 power supply coming over from Deepcool on the PXG1000. Absolutely killer system today. Let us link down below in the comments and make sure to hit that subscribe button. Make sure to hit that like button as well to help us with the algorithm. And you want to catch us live on a raw like it is right now as we butcher intros. You can join us any Monday, Wednesday, or Friday over to our Twitch channel at twitch.tv sessions at 10 a.m. Eastern. And we hope to see you soon. All right. The PC that's being given away, this is not the PC giving away. The PC giving away is uh, very similar in performance. Uh, we have a picture of it on the giveaway link. This is just what we're building today. Everything here we need off the top. Let's get started on today's build, chat. All right, guys, get the motherboard out. Let's get started on today's build. All right. Get this 1400K out. There you go. Let's open the socket, take a look down inside, make sure everything's looking good. No bend pins. All right, looks great. Get this 1400K out and drop it in. There we go. Down and in. All right, guys, this is our two terabyte KC3000 drive. We're opening up right now. Let's get this down and in the socket here. There it is. Boom, doom, done. Quick latch, the inside boards is nice. All right, all on there for our drive. Next to be our standoffs for our cooler. All right, cooler day LS720. All right, let's grab our standoffs we need for today. Our Intel LGA 1700 bracket for the cooler. Down and in, there we go. All right, all the standoffs are in place for the cooler. The RAM, if we ever get the RAM plastic off here, holy cow, it's wedged in there. There we go. Team Force Delta RGB. 6,800 megabytes, fantastic kit right here, especially for the 1400K. Here's a stick one, our first dim. Our second dim going down and in. There we go, looking good. All in, there it is. Looks great on this board. I always like the way the, the Delta Ram looks on this board. It actually matches the aesthetic of the Tomahawk very well. The Delta Ram does. Z790, Z790 Tomahawk board today. 1400K down on the socket. We got our standoffs here for the LS720 cooler. We have a two terabyte KC3000 drive in the NVMe slot one. And then we have 32 gigs of Team Force Team Delta DDR5, 6800 megahertz CL34 RAM, and that beautiful Team Force Delta RGB RAM. Absolutely beautiful set up, set up here. We're gonna slide this aside and we got the case out today, which is the H6 Flow RGB. It's becoming one of our favorite cases here on the channel. We love it. Good to build in, ships well, bundles up well, and then it looks fantastic, so. Do you use any RGB controller for multiple RGB fans? It depends on what, about how many fans we're talking about, but usually don't use a controller because the fans we use will either have, A, if they're leanly, they'll have their own controller, or if they're deep cool, they're a daisy, China, daisy chain. So you usually don't use a lot of RGB controllers. There we go, there's that beautiful H6. I'll pop off all the tops here, and take off the front glass. I really think they, the NGXC did is they made a lot of these cases pretty accessible with just a couple of snaps. Like there you go, I got the back panel off with the screw. Now flip, or the front, the front is just a recessed glass panel with a screw to help hold it in place. It pops forward, pops right out. There we go. They have a nice hard drive tray back here, which you can see right here holds any, if you guys want to do any kind of mass storage here or any kind of 2.5 SSDs, it just pops in right here. I took the screw out here. I can just pop the it's actually easier to do in the back. We can pop this right up. Get both the screws. Did I get the screw out? Yeah, I get the screw out. Ow. Oh, pinch my hand pretty good. I like it. We only need our motherboard screws out of here. This we're not doing any bottom fans. We'll have all the screws the customer's gonna have. They wanna add 140 millimeter. The motherboard's got plenty of opportunity to do that. We'll make sure those screws stay in the box here and they'll go into the motherboard box. We're just doing the side fans, which are included. A rear exhaust fan and top mount. So we'll have seven fans in the system, which is killer and really good. All right, let's go top down so you can check it out. As we drop the motherboard in, like I said, it's quickly become one of our favorite cases because it's it's like a mid-tower case, but the dual chamber kind of look, so it's really nice. Let's drop this motherboard down and in, which I believe this Tomahawk board looks absolutely killer in here too. Tomahawk and the Strix both look really good in this case. 
I mean, it's really hard to make it not look good because this case is, looks great for the price. There's eight total screws. The center standpoint here is going to be a, a pin design, which is actually meant to hold the motherboard in place. The pin design just really just holds the motherboard from sliding around when you're aligning it for your screws. So it's not really a standoff. It's more of just a, uh, a mounting point. All done there. All right, I'll give you a fun close up here. Throw the motherboard in the, the case. Looks great. All right, so first is gonna be our Type C and our USB 3.0 headers. We're gonna work on that right now. I'm gonna work on getting these fans because they give you a bunch of fans, just kind of, you can see here on the back, they give you a bunch of fans right here, just kind of all tucked in. We're gonna have to run all that cabling and kind of figure this all out here in a second. Remember, you know, as soon as, as, soon as Arena comes out, you know we're playing it, brother. Yeah, right, Ricky, you know we're playing Ricky. All right, here's our USB 3.0 header. All right, Travis, we're working on some of the RGB cables before you work on the power supply next. Looking good. She was working on the cables, kind of cleaning up on the side down there, hiding them on the bottom. Now we're gonna work on the power supply. Beautiful PXG 1000 from Deepcool. It's a very phenomenal, it's actually a really, really high end power supply. We've been loving the, the PXGs from Deepcool. All right, there's one, a SATA, our 12 volt high power, I mean, we, our dual CPU, CPU one, CPU two. There we go. That's great because also if you buy this power supply, they give you a um, regular PCIe cables too. So they're, and they're not daisy, they're not the daisy chain dog like the the hanging the duplex dog dongles that you see on the PCIe. They're full single eight pin PCIe, which is nice. So if you're you still have an older GPU like a 30 series, they're great. All right, these are our cables, guys. Just got to put in our 12 volt high power. All right, the guys is running all the cables up here for our CPU power. That's weird. All right, let's work on the cooler next chat. All right, guys, I'm gonna go give you the rear cable manager view as we drop this cooler in. All right, let me screw these in. Here are the pump wires. There we go. There we go, all right. Get this rad in chat. All right, let's get the RGB setup chat. After that, all we have left to do is the GPU chat. We're almost done. All right, let's pop the RGB in here. RGB's in. All the cables are in the back. Time for the GPU. How are we looking? All right, let's grab the GPU, guys. RTX 4080 coming today from MSI and the beautiful Ventus card. There it is, RTX 4080 today from MSI. Three slaughter. All right, let's grab the slots we need to open up here on the back. There we go, chat. Three, two, one with the thunk. There it is. Put that thunk around the world. So we have our GPU cable here. We can go over the top or we can go underneath. We're gonna go underneath today. Likely underneath here. Let me see. Or over the top, missing. All right, let's pull sensor cables through. All right. I know you don't like vertical mount GPU, but doing a Supreme X vertical mount on the case looks so dope. It would. It would look good. That would look good. But just, yeah, we don't like the vertical GPU mounts because they're a uh, point of failure. There we go. Let's get, the let's get the panels on and let's get booted up, chat. Let's go. Guys, thanks for coming in and liking another video here on YouTube. Make sure you hit that like button to help us with the algorithm. Make sure people find us and see all the beautiful PCs we build. If you haven't subscribed already, hit that subscribe button as well. Remember, we build these systems live every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday over on our Twitch channel at twitch.tv. Come on over, hang out, chat it up with us, and watch us build beautiful PCs for everybody in the community. And remember, let's go.